Hey cuties, so the Anna and Elsa dolls are coming out today, so I'm about to go to my local mall and wait for them to open at 10. It's about 4.50 a.m., but last time I waited for the Ariel doll, uh, I got there at like 7.20 and there was already like, I don't know, 20 people. It was a lot of people, so I am leaving early today because I know people are crazy about Frozen and I really, really want a Snow Queen Elsa today. So, And I'm also going to get Anna because I think she looks really pretty too. So I'm going to take you along and hopefully I can get them. Talk to you later. lost in the mall so I had to like walk all over the mall carrying these. I'm so tired but I'm so happy. They're so cute. I'll have better video footage soon. See you! Okay cuties. I can't feel my legs. I'm exhausted. Four hours later waiting with very very hyper Disney people but I finally got the dolls so obviously this one is Anna first. She is gorgeous. I love her super pale skin. I don't know why. It just contrasts really nicely with like the turquoise dress. She has such good detail. Now someone had said they got one and the crown was missing a jewel. I haven't really investigated it yet, but uh, no, wait, no, I'm not missing one. Good, good. Whew. Like all of that work just to be missing a crown, but she's gorgeous. She has beautiful details and I don't know if I'm going to open her. I know people open to see the numbers, but I don't know if I want to do that. But there's the top. Oh, and they have the back. Da, da, da. But um, I'll read the back for you. It says, Disney Store proudly presents the worldwide limited edition Anna doll capturing our new Queen of Arendelle. When Elsa is called away from the kingdom on a mysterious journey north, Anna accompanies her sister. Outside of Arendelle, Anna must learn to stand strong even in the face <laughs> even in the face of her biggest fears. On this adventure, she transformed into a courageous leader who can now brave the unknown. Celebrating this touching story of heroism and self-discovery, this intricately designed doll brings to life Anna and her queenly nature. Stunning details including a gemstone embroidered uh, gown that flows around her. Complemented by a cape featuring a design of Arendelle's wheat in insignia, excuse me, Anna's new look is royal and regal. A gem tiara and earrings add a gleaming finishing touch. Designed and carefully crafted by Disney Store artists, this limited edition doll will warm the hearts of Disney fans and collectors alike. So, there's Anna. Okay, and this is the one I really, really wanted. It is Snow Queen Elsa. So I'm so glad they had extras of her because um, there's 500 more Elsa than Anna because Elsa just always sells out super fast. She is so beautiful, and she's even more pretty in person. Like, I don't know if you can see, like, her dress is just completely sparkly. And I love, like, the sheer purplish, like, um, cape down the back. I was trying to think of what that is called. Um, and then the detailing on her little bodice is so pretty. I love, like, the little triangle diamond things going on. So gorgeous. I just, I like, I, my favorite color is purple, so I like that she has purple details. But she is absolutely gorgeous. I love the, I love that her box is like pastel too. It's like this really pretty light blue and purple ombre look. So pretty. So I'll read you the back of hers as well if you would like. So Disney Store proudly presents again the worldwide limited re edition Elsa doll that brings to life our regal and enduring Snow Queen. Magical and larger than life, Elsa is called to an enchanted forest where she discovers the source of her icy powers. On this adventure, she risks losing everything. Celebrate Elsa's journey of self-discovery, a moving story that captures the power of courage and following one's destiny. With this exquisite doll, 
<laughs> I don't know why I read it like that. Adored in a sparkling gradient gown that shimmers with ice-like details, our mythical queen reigns with every gleam. Her whimsically uh, embroidered cape trails behind her, and metallic embroidery provides a sparkling touch. Gemstones throughout complete this truly spectacular look for royalty. I think I spit. Designed and carefully crafted by Disney Store artists, this limited edition doll will unleash a flurry of sophistication certain to fascinate Disney fans and collectors alike. Gosh, I can really spit that out. I'm actually, I think I'm going to open and see what number I got. But if you bought both dolls, they give you an Olaf key. I don't have it because uh, a girl waiting in line, oh my gosh. The key collector people, I think, are crazier, not to be rude, but are, like, crazier than the doll collecting people. Because, like, oh my gosh, like, everyone was just, like, obsessed with these keys. Like, I would say I don't get it, but, like, I'm sure people think the same thing about, like, dolls and kawaii stuff. So, it's the same thing. I actually asked her, the one girl that um, she bought my Olaf key from me. Um, she said she likes to, like, decorate her walls with them. So, I was like, okay, I can kind of see that. But, like, oh. Disney people scare me. I'm a Disney person. I scare myself. But, like, we're just, we're too intense of people. And, like, Disney makes it so ridiculous to get stuff. Like, I feel like I hate limited edition. I wish they would, like, make stuff. And then if it sells out, they can just, like, restock it. Because they have the mold and everything. But this culture, like, this is, this is aging me. Do you see these wrinkles? This is, this is from these dolls. But I'm so glad to have both of them. So let me uh, take a brief second. And I'm going to um, just take the cover off so I can see what number I got and then I will be right back okay so I got her out of the box Anna and she is 2778 so it's kind of low but I think there's some people who got like in the 200s that I saw on Instagram I think because I'm like so far down in the east coast in Florida that I normally get the higher numbers but that's not too bad in 2000 so let me see what Elsa is but um this is Anna without her little plastic on so maybe you could see her a little bit better maybe the light's so glaring though but she has like freckles on her face like they're so cute oh my goodness okay so let me re-box her and then I'll de-box Elsa okay I'm super excited I got 137 number of Elsa which I think is super low. I know it doesn't really matter, but it's like, usually like when it's like one of the first production ones, they're like nicer. I don't know. That's what I heard. But here she is kind of deep box. And I forgot to point out, look how beautiful her little curl is. It's so cute. Oh, she's so, I think it's focusing on my face. Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to look at it though. I look like a creeper, but like, she's so cute. So beautiful. I love her and her little hand. Ugh. So beautiful. Oh, and the stands, um, oh, you can kind of see her shoes. So pretty. And the stand's just like a clear stand. But um, I think you can, like, pose her feet in different ways. There's, like, little holes all in the stand. I don't know why. Not sure, because I don't really see a way, a reason for the holes. But can you see the freckles on her face? If it will focus, there we go. So gorgeous and cute. So, anyways, there she is. Okay, I got her back in the box, but yes, I'm super happy about both dolls, and I already put on on the shelf, so I'm just holding Elsa for the end of the video. Anyways, thank you guys so much for taking this tiny little journey and watching my little video, and I will talk to y'all later. Have a sweet day. Bye!